Hi, uh, we are two thirds of Camp Cope and we covered 17 Going Under by Sam Fender for lack of version. I remember sickness was forever. When I first heard the song, it really resonated with me uh, growing up and like living still in Western Sydney because there's a song that's about growing up um, poor and then wanting to experience life as a child but then that being your home life so kind of wanting to go out and experience the world but then the world being a very um, hard place to navigate as well and then when I brought it to the band um, it kind of it I knew that they could relate to it in a lot of ways too because it touches on like th themes about like toxic masculinity and like boys clubs which like we've done before with our own music Part of the reason why we chose this song is because it like went viral on TikTok because a lot of women were using the line, I was far too scared to hit him, but I would hit him in a heartbeat now to voice their experience of gendered violence. The fact that it resonated with so many women was just incredible and also completely devastating. We changed the lyrics to, instead of being about like a guy who grew up in the UK, to be more about like a woman growing up in Australia. It's kind of scary to change lyrics because you don't know how the artists who wrote the song, if they hear it, like what they're going to think about it. And think we did change the whole, like, not the we whole. We changed the, the song. The meaning of the song is now different. I yeah. Feel. Um, so I hope that's okay with the people. Who Sorry, are. Sam. <laughs> At first when we did the song, we did try and match it to what it kind of, like the original, but it just didn't sound like us. Yeah, I stripped the song back in the intro and the outro, um, to, which is more aligned with like our, our, our new album sonically is a bit more like that too. Um, and then having the bass as the lead. And the drums should... just be completely different. The drums yeah. going a bit harder. The, the first time we did like a version, we covered Maps by the AAS. So that is one of the greatest songs ever written. Sometimes that lack of version comes on, like, on Spotify, someone's Spotify or the radio, and I don't realize it's us. I'm like, why do I know this? What is this? It's our lack of version. It's our lack of version. <laughs> We were so young. We had only been a band for less than a year. Yeah. Um, Little babies. Yeah. My fly was down. Yeah, and her fly was <laughs> Intentionally. down. Intentionally. It was not intentional. Was <laughs> I like listen back to old Camp Cope records and I'm like, ugh. <laughs> hate this, like knives, someone jamming a knife in my ear. We were just Whereas still now I like it, it. Yeah. We were so like, we are a rock band and we are guitar, bass and drums and that's what we are. And then I feel like then we got really bored of it. And then we're like, no, we want piano. We want a more dynamic sound. And we have the ability to do that too. I feel, feel like we really used to doubt our ability. Yeah. Um, and now we've gotten more confident. I think right now it's really cool to have something like this because we can't play live shows. So it's nice to be able to like make art and have an audience. I think we're all starved of live music at the moment. Yeah. And this is not like being in front of an audience, but it's kind of the, close, the closest you can be. Yes, it's so much fun. It's I fun. love the grand piano. <laughs> oh, love it. Obsessed. I love like good classic female rage. I think that there's something really quite beautiful and important and I feel like when a woman expresses anything that's not, you know, polite in public or like in art, then she kind of gets torn down. I just think it's so incredible and so important, f like when women get away from like the narrative of how we're raised to be and showing that we do have anger and we do have rage. And that's not like a, that's not a bad thing. I love it. Love it. Seventeen going.